lightning was seen in the area. We are now pausing the game for 30 minutes. For the Western Michigan game, David was monitoring those storms, advising the university, yes, you know, we're seeing lightning occurring very close to the stadiums. Uh, the game was delayed a couple times and then eventually canceled it. The biggest thing was there's lightning right over the area. And just over southwest Michigan, we had storms starting to pop up that were becoming very severe. And actually, about an hour after the game had been canceled, there's a severe thunderstorm over Ann Arbor and actually caused wind damage about half a mile to the west of the stadium here of just limbs coming down off the trees. And since weather is part of what we do here at the Atmospheric Oceanic and Space Sciences Department, they decided that they wanted us to not only be advising them leading up to football games, but also having us right there on site in the event that something's happening. Otherwise, you might have a bunch of different people looking at radars or different websites. You can look at your smartphone and you can see, okay, it's going to be 70 degrees today with a chance of thunderstorms. That doesn't really say much of when that thunderstorm is going to occur, if that thunderstorm is going to occur. So that's where we come in, is we have experience reading that data and then interpreting that data to the needs of Michigan football and the football stadium crew. There's several benefits to what we do. One is the early forecast that we provide on Thursdays lets the university start thinking ahead. Are we going to have to set up cooling stations? Are we going to have to advise uh, some of the commercial folks that come in and are trying to sell food and things like that. Are we going to have to advise them? We provide some general comfort things, but then also some safety things. This is going to show us radar images, so where the storms are located. This is also going to produce real-time lightning data, so we can know where lightning strikes are actually occurring during the game. Some of the other tools that we also like to use are current just satellite images. This just kind of gives us an idea of where the clouds are located right now potentially storms that are starting to pop up that maybe aren't appearing on radar yet. Also use another radar image just to give a wide view of everything and just so you can see what's going on maybe in Wisconsin that could potentially impact the game later on. You never know if the weather sometimes, it can always throw a curveball at you. So I'm always watching just to make sure nothing that was unforecasted happens. 